Hey all you helium hotspot miners, welcome to another installation video. That's right, we are driving somewhere to install a helium hotspot miner. So just to give you a little bit of background, uh, I live in Denver, Colorado. We are right now headed towards Westminster. And in Westminster, I'm about to install a helium hotspot at my sister-in-law's house. Now, my sister-in-law uh, just recently decided to move. She's had this hotspot installed in her current house for about three or four months now, but she has bought a condo and, uh, well, we've got to move it there. Now, quite frankly, I'm excited about this because I got to have a say in the location she was moving to and I made sure it was on the third story of a building that was at the highest elevation in the area. So that means that unlike some of my other hotspots which are located below that hill, there's a, a hill basically uh, right in front of the street and uh, that hill uh, blocks my other hotspots from seeing north of it so they end up getting most of the rewards to the south but this one will be on top of that hill and it is pretty much flat land all the way up there so uh, well I'll show you in just a second but I'm, I'm, I'm super excited at this location okay so as you can see uh, my sister-in-law has a great view of downtown uh, she can't actually see that uh, from her place, but uh, that is uh, definitely something that she can hit with, uh, well, the Helium Hotspot Miner. Uh, she actually lives down this street over here. And so uh, just, just a little ways, but point being is that is all available to her to the south and it's all flat land this way north, and she lives uh, on the third story of one of these buildings here. So my plan is to put the hot spot in an attic, and well, we'll just see how well it does in uh, one of these attics up here. All right, we're here, and uh, that's her place right up on the third story. We're gonna see uh, how well this goes but I'm super excited don't know how many meters up that is I'm gonna I'm gonna say what nine ten let me know in the comments okay so we're in the house now and as you can see outside uh, these other houses do block the area to downtown but that doesn't necessarily mean that the signal can't get through them not too worried about it this way uh, here we are in the house and here's one thing I was really excited about the idea of putting a helium miner up there uh, in the skylights. But I think I can do the same thing by utilizing the attic behind this wall. Now, uh, the views behind the house, sure, uh, we are gonna have a tree in the way that doesn't really affect low raw, uh, but it is, like I said, all flat land out there and it's fairly open. So less uh, to worry about in terms of being blocked but, uh, well, let's go do the install. So here we are right now. I have the antenna just in the window just to see what it would get temporarily. But the plan is to go up into the attic there and uh, set it up. Now, I believe setting it up in this attic is just as high as the windows I showed you in the other room. But, uh, well, let's take a look and see how feasible this is. Certainly, putting in the attic is a lot easier than trying to figure out how to get it up in those skylights. And as usual, I get somewhere and uh, I'm, I don't have my screwdriver. Uh, initially, I made this tripod system to hold the... Uh, Hold the antenna at the top, the 8 dBi omnidirectional rack wireless antenna at the top, and a place here where I could unscrew the front cap of the um, of the rack uh, wireless helium hotspot and install it, as well as as you can see, have a fan to blow air through it. Which uh, in this winter I don't need at this very moment. 
So um, I, I don't have the screwdriver. I don't, don't know where I put it. So instead, I'm just gonna Velcro it in place. That's, that's my whole plan right now. Not, not the best option, but I still need this high enough uh, where I can uh, utilize it. And uh, Velcro works, you know? Why not just uh, have a Velcro strip to uh, keep it in place? Uh, for those of you who have better ideas, uh, I'm always welcome to hear it. And certainly I will make the uh, setup here available. But one reason people ask me, you know, when am I going to sell this? I have no plans at this moment uh, to get it online until I have a better system available to other people to use. Because I don't know what you want. Do you need a fan? Do you not need a fan? Um, but, uh, you know, until all that Velcro works... It's uh, janky, <laughs> but it keeps it in place, right? And now I can uh, connect this and everything works great. So let's get it up in the attic. Okay. Uh, nice attic. Uh, see if I can just this to stand somewhere. I guess I'll just leave it on the side over there. Oh, nice. Okay, so we've got power here. Nice to have a light at least. I don't see any other sockets, but we got a uh, we got a light socket. Light socket's useful. I'm trying to get as high up as I can up here. Okay, I have a. Uh, socket to outlet adapter right there uh just got it at home depot for about two bucks i would actually like to have something to adapt this to have a light bulb be in it with its own cord but uh i'll deal with that another time in the meantime let's uh get this adapter in there okay adapter's in now, one thing I always recommend when you're doing this is to have a smart plug. This smart plug is connected to the Wi-Fi. I've already set it up here to make sure that I can control uh, power in uh, when I want to for my house. So if I have to do a hard reset, this makes it possible. And uh... <laughs> it's a three prong, so I can't do it. Okay. That's all right. Uh, let's uh, let's put the plug in. Let's see if it works here. If you get a few minutes, I could use a hand. Okay. Let's see. Let's plug that in. And uh, so, plug it in right here. And no power at the moment, but uh, let's pull the light switch and we have power. All right, power is working. So now let's get it as high up as possible. So uh, right to uh, the top of the roof here. A lot of stuff in the attic. I doubt my sister-in-law checked any of this when she bought the place, but that's okay. Uh, the bigger question is, can I can I get this in? And uh, the answer is yes. Yes, I can. tighten that up and I want to get that as straight as possible there we go it's not quite at the top but uh work which I was hoping to avoid but that's okay just avoiding it because I don't have socks on
Ugh. All right. So, a few things I've learned. One, probably need an extension cable. And two, in order to use uh, this plug, I need a three-pronger. None of these uh, lights come with a three-pronger, so I'm going to need an adapter. So just something to consider. Okay. Okay, well, that uh, I think will cover it. So like you just saw, I will still need to get a three-prong to two-prong adapter to make sure that I will be able to reset it if I have to remotely. And honestly, that is super important because I don't know how often you've seen an issue where there is an update by Helium and that update causes you to stop, stop having rewards. And the only way to solve it is to do a hard reset. That means I can from home just turn it off using the app on my phone, wait a few minutes and then turn it back on. And then Again, it does take sometimes 24 hours before it fixes the problem, but generally speaking, I've seen it fix the problem, and that at the end of the day is what matters. All right, well, hey, thanks for watching me do an installation. I hope you enjoyed seeing my butt while I was up there. Uh, please do like and subscribe, uh, especially if you don't want to see my butt in any more videos. Otherwise, happy mining.